it's the end of the world as we know it. I feel fine. Good morning, slaves, and welcome to another edition of It's the End of the World as We Know It, and I Feel Fine. The show where the only peeps feeling the burn are the motherfucking pigs. Ah! I'm Bernie Sanders, and I approve this message. I am your host, The Stimulator, and despite what your racist uncle says, I know he's crazy, but Donald Trump sure makes a lot of sense about those immigrants. Being a so-called illegal immigrant isn't all it's cracked up to be. While the right-wing media often depicts undocumented migrants as lazy freeloaders, in the real fucking world, they make up some of the hardest working and most ruthlessly exploited members of society. Many have risked their fucking lives to cross heavily militarized yet entirely make-believe fucking borders all in an attempt to escape horrific wars or just to provide a slightly more secure and dignified life for their families and loved ones back home. And even if they manage to cross the border, land a job that pays less than minimum wage, and stay two steps ahead of the immigration officials still looking to deport their ass, we're here today because we're going to take you into custody and put you into deportation proceedings. These people still have to deal with being yelled at, spat on, and violently attacked by racist fucking dipshits who are too fucking ignorant to realize it's their own government and their rich corporate backers that are ultimately to blame for the fact that they're broke, scared, and confused. First the money started going, and now everyone's getting laid off work! They took our jobs! For months now, a toxic fucking brew of Islamophobia and generalized anti-immigrant sentiment has been boiling over in Europe and in the United Snakes. They're bringing drugs, they're bringing crime, they're rapists. Last summer, there was a brief moment of collective reflection and human fucking decency in the West as millions of people were genuinely moved upon seeing the heart-wrenching photos of three-year-old Alan Kurdi's drowned body watched up on a Turkish beach. But it seems like that moment has passed. Mass shootings in Paris and San Bernardino, California, combined with state mismanagement of the refugee crisis and mutual distrust between European nations, have helped create a self-perpetuating cycle of human misery and reactionary racist violence. Refugees, animals, not animals. We are people, we are Muslims. We want to go to the UK. Not live in Cali's jungle. Just outside the French port city of Calais, a sprawling, makeshift refugee camp known as the Jungle has become one of the flashpoints for this growing unrest. The camp, largely populated by migrants from Iraq, Syria, Afghanistan, Sudan, and Eritrea, has now swelled to around 6,000 peeps, with similar camps popping up along France's northern coast. Many of these residents have endured months of traveling through numerous European cities in hopes of reaching the UK. Now, with their long-awaited destination finally in view, they find themselves blocked by French riot cops. The UK's prim and proper PM, David Cameron, for his part, has made it clear that his government will do everything it can to keep migrants from reaching Britain. We need to protect our borders by working hand in glove with our neighbors, the French. Yo, Stim, isn't that the guy who once skull fucked a dead pig? Indeed he is, agitator. Indeed he is. But that's exactly the point, to make love to a pig. The French government's solution to this clusterfuck has been to announce the construction of temporary housing for 1,500 people, made out of repurposed shipping containers and the eviction and destruction of the current camp. Migrants seeking to access these glorified garbage bins will first need to submit to biometric testing and fingerprinting, and many are wary to go live in something that they say looks and feels like a prison. The raising of the jungle has been proceeding at pace for weeks now and has produced a barren security zone ringed with mounds of dirt and razor wire fencing that looks like something out of a dystopian science fiction movie. On January 23rd, residents of the Calais jungle were joined by hundreds of anarchists and other shit disturbers from Britain and other surrounding countries who heeded the call to support residents resisting the eviction. A demonstration of 2,000 peeps quickly escalated into a riot, and around 1,000 migrants and supporters rushed the nearby port and occupied a ferry aptly named the Spirit of Britain. During the fracas, a statue of France's venerated war criminal, Charles de Gaulle, was vandalized, causing an uproar in the right-wing UK and French press. <laughs> Meanwhile, on the other side of the channel in the English port city of Dover, Violent street clashes broke out on January 30th, when British anti-fascists attacked an anti-immigrant demo organized by the resurgent fascist group National Front. Matter, 
these ugly scenes, reminiscing of the social turbulence of the 1920s and 1930s, are going to become much more common occurrence in the coming months and years. And if we're going to avoid a recap of what happened last time around, the motherfucking resistance is going to have to up our game. Planlos, verloren en diese Welt, Kanon im Futter, seguirnos entender, el lavado de cerebro es tu ideal, no lo soporto, no limpies el país, mejor limpia del orto. Ries con el sufrimiento de perder el aliento, nosotros millones, ustedes ni 500.